Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Dark Souls 3 Weapon Playthroughs. That was a weird way to say it. Last episode we did, uh, the beginning of the game. We obtained ourselves a claymore, even though I am supposed to be using not only great swords, but I can only obtain that one from the moment that I have grey rats. So I'll just be using the claymore for a little bit, for which I died last episode in the first area of the game. Fucking pathetic. Hello. There we go. It does. It continues to feel weird playing with a greatsword for me. They're like a standard greatsword. They're good weapons, mind you. But it's just weird for me. And I can't really explain why. I think just because I don't. Like, if I have to choose a weapon, I'm probably never going to be choosing a greatsword. They're fine. It's not like they're bad or anything, but I don't really like playing with them too much. They're not special enough for me. There we go. Standard bolts, some fire bombs, and some deserter trousers. Yes, finally, some new pants. Actually, I already had some new pants, but oh well. Actually, I don't like the pants too much. If I get the, if I get like the main armor, I'm happy with that one or a chest armor. But otherwise, I mm, nah. The rest I don't really care too much about. Okay, sure. That works for me, being able to one-shot you. Let me just go and wait for a moment. Nice. Right. Hello, friend. There we go. Stab him right in the ass because it does a lot of damage. Ah, yes. Classic. Just giving me the Lothric Knight Great Shield. In the playthrough after the Great Shield playthrough. <laughs> God damn you, game. That's a dick move. Oh. Firebombs, nice. Firebombs are always useful. Or just about always. Abdusi. Just gonna see if I can hit the guy in the back. Nope, because I missed horrendously. Well, I guess I hit him. <laughs> Not really the way that I wanted to hit him. But I hit him. Ah, nice. Wasn't sure if I'd be able to send him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. God damn you. Kill the dog. If anything. Nice. I'll hit him straight in the face. Excellent. There we go. Let me go and throw a firebomb over there. Okay. Come on. Get over here. I said get over here. Let me go and charge up my attack and miss. Almost wanted to press the dodge button in Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Because I've been playing that game before I started this recording session. While I was waiting for data to be transferred. There we go. Ooh. More firebombs, yes. A firebombs, yum! Right. Silver Eagle Kite Shield, which I think... Uh, actually, it doesn't have better stability, so fuck that shit. You know what does have better stability? The, the Lothric Knight Great Shield. There we go. And then we got ourselves the key to victory. Or the key to... My lifeline? Let's go and first deal with this area. Kill that dude. And deal with the Winged Knights. Can you stop doing that? He always does that. Like, I don't know why, but for some kind of reason, the last couple of, in the last two playthroughs, he has repeatedly done that. And it's bloody annoying. There we go. And I'm going to stab you in the arse again. Still not dead. 
<laughs> Top 10 favorite the Death Kawaiis. <laughs> Maybe I should make like a top 10 video about the best sounds in Dark Souls. <laughs> I don't think I will. I don't think I'll ever make a top 10 video, like, no. That's not the kind of guy I am. The thing is, I, I already have, like, a lot of issues ranking anything in any game. Like, just ranking games in general, I... I'm not good with opinions. <laughs> Say it like that. I'm also not too picky of a person, I, I like a lot of stuff. I like a lot of movies that a lot of people hate. I like a lot of games that a lot of people hate. And if I don't like something, I just don't play it or don't talk about it. Or just say that I don't like it. Instead of saying... Instead of trying to defend my... Uh, to try and defend my opinion and try to make other people... Uh, make Try to make other... Uh, to, oh my god, it's difficult for me to say for some kind of reason. And to try and make other people's opinions change. I don't know. It's not the kind of guy I am. I'm interested in people's opinions, but... I am not gonna... The thing is, I this is something that I've been doing in my, my entire life, really. I'm never gonna go against somebody's opinion. Or at least try not to. Because in the end, it will just make... Like, it will just ruin... Whatever moment you have with those people. I've had it happen. Well, I haven't lost friendships over it. Hell no. But I have had some moments where. where I try to go against somebody when it comes to a certain opinion or whatever, and. yeah. That just leads me nowhere. It only leads to frustration. Doesn't mean you can't relieve yourself of your opinion, of course. Doesn't mean you can't say your own opinion uh, against other people. I don't care about that. The thing I do care about is making other people... Like trying to make other people have different opinions. Why did I... I need to go to the shrine, fuck. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a weird thing for me to explain. I'm a weird guy in that kind of way. In a certain way, I'm a very complicated person. In another way, I'm also a very simple person. <laughs> the thing that I need and the things that I like are very simple. While just about all the rest is very confusing. <laughs> Why am I talking about this during a Dark Souls video? Because what else am I going to talk about when I'm basically going at autopilot? <laughs> uh, fuck. I was wondering this. I'm only going to be able to get the Zweihander from the moment that I finish the Undead Settlement. <sighs> that kind of sucks. Oh wait, no. Uh, let me go and take a look at what greats, like Ultra Great Swords there are. So we have the Zweihander. Which is sold after he's probably gone to the Undead Settlement. The Great Sword in the Fair and Keep. Uh, and a lot of boss swords, and the Black Knight Greatsword, and the Cathedral Knight. Lothric Knight, the Astora one, which is looted from a corpse in the Cathedral of the Deep. Yep. Well, I was hoping I'd be able to get the Zweihander right now, but that is... feckin' wrong. So I'm gonna run around with an unupgraded weapon until I've beaten... the Crystal Sage, which is gonna be pure shit. Well, maybe not, actually. If I can get a parry weapon, I can just parry your attacks and repost. I'll probably do that. Middle, well, my, my, I'll see. I'll just try to win. <laughs> it's the most important part. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I can get the greatsword. In the... I can get the greatsword in a road of sacrifices. The only area that I'm gonna have to do with, uh, like with my uh, claymore over here, is going to be, uh, well, the only place that I'm gonna have to, 
uh, go through with a claymore is this area and the road of sacrifices. I love everybody and their freaking grandma noticing me. I'm gonna kill you now then, hmm? If that makes you feel better. Because it sure as hell makes me feel better. One thing that I do always like is watching the blades sheath, in, like in their sheath. This looks absolutely amazing to me. Would have loved it if you could like sheath your weapon and unsheath it. Without having to two hand your shield. The way that he sheathed it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense though. And the fact that you can even unsheath this thing in general is... Yeah, no. It makes no sense. But this is not the first game that uh, that does that. And suddenly it was quiet. Also, I haven't shown off the weapon art quite yet. Oh, this is this is the weapon skill. Okay, I thought it was going to be a... Uh... For some kind of reason, I thought that it was going to be the stomp ability, but that is for the ultra great. Oh, actually, that... What am I even doing? This, this is not a weapon that I'm supposed to showcase. <laughs> Oops. Nice. Got bloody nothing. Can't believe you've done this. Go wait for my stamina to regen and get nothing in return. Hello, witch. I'm not a witch. Uh, let me go and get away of blue for no reason whatsoever. Mount ahead. Excuse me. Alright, let's see if I can kill you like this. Yes, I can. <laughs> Pathetic. Love it. Oh, yep, absolutely love it. You know, and take care of this dude first. There we go. Hello, friend. I'm gonna do a jump attack. Only to get hit in return. I would say that that move paid off in the most spectacular way. No, not really. Let me go and scratch me face. Yeah, there we go. Let's go and buff my weapon. And time to deal with Vort of the Boreal Valley. It's your boy. You chunk, you chunky boy. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, nice, man. Nice. I him. Let me go on it up for a moment. What? Healing? Against the Vort of the Boreal Valley? Who are you? And what have you done to me? Alright. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there we go. Still at the normal cycle there. Just got hit more because of reasons. Right. Go and get rid of that. Probably should arrest that bonfire to make uh, the door open up faster. Now the real fight begins. Jumping required ahead. That's a good one. Classic. <laughs> the classic Dark Souls experience. <laughs> Alright. Um, I guess I'm gonna go into this place first. A little bit. A little bit. I don't need the all. I don't need the Alluring Skull back there. Fuck it. Don't need any of that shit. Pfft. 
Okay, that reminds me of my own dog running around me in circles. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch out for that. Because he can definitely get squished over there and killed. <laughs> you raised me up. Hello, friend. And goodbye. You are dead. Right. Let's go on level up. Increasing my girth for when I can finally use my ultimate weapons. <laughs> ultimate weapon. Right. Uh, more strength is probably going to be a good idea, but I think I should focus on things like vigor and endurance first. A little bit. Right. Uh, yep. Oh, I still have some time left. I can go to the dilapidated bridge probably. I wonder though, does Grey Rat? I still don't remember when Grey Rat comes back. If it's before. Like if it's after you've beaten the Cursed Royal at Greatwood, or if it's after. The Crystal Sage. I think it's after the Crystal Sage. Jesus Christ. For some kind of reason, I did not see it coming. You never see it coming. <laughs> Can't sing for the life of me. Especially not now. I think if I practice a little bit, I probably could, but... <clears throat> not right now. Let me go and switch back to my normal shield. There we go. Let's go and kill Pitchfork Man. Number two, of course. Get a repair powder for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I love all of the nonsensical book that I do and say. Nice. <laughs> One of my favorite sounds in the game. Nice. Got both of them. Good, good. What is this? Charcoal pine bundle, yeah. The reason why I'm going over here is because of the charcoal pine. I think. I want to see what the other item is. If it's uh, charcoal pine resin or not. No, it's just more bundles. But the bundles are also useful against the uh, the Puss of Man. Which is their official name, by the way. FYI. We go on two hand. It doesn't kill him. I mean, like, it doesn't one shot him. Which is what I t was trying to do. Or which is the thing that I was looking for, let's say it like that. I will cleanse your back passage. Which, I gotta say, I'm not too big of a fan of. Still hate the fact that you're invincible. And okay, roll. There we go. And then the dude with the pitchfork is like, Haha! My lady, I'm gonna avenge you! But in the end, he just got killed. Why did these guys not get one shot? Uh, probably because I don't have an upgraded weapon. What's back there again? I find it so diff like it's so difficult for me to leave shinies alone. It's just so well, yeah, the souls are always useful though. I do say. I do proclaim. A number over here. Are you? Only killed one of them. And Pitchfork Man has decided to join. Pitchfork Man joins the battle. Are you kidding me? Fucking flanking me? Oh yeah. I'm taking a lot more hits than I did before. I'm also not playing as carefully, I think. Should look at that. Don't you love these little farts who have like fucking poison all that jazz? I sure do. Can you feel the salt? Beginning to coalesce around your feet. Or your ears probably. Or maybe also your feet. <laughs> I have no idea why, but why not? not? Let's add that to the fret lore. The encroaching uh Encroaching salt at the feet. The curse of red. There, the, uh, the charcoal pine bundles. 
52 souls is not a lot. I find it very difficult to see like what is a, like what are a lot of souls in this game. I get from an enemy. Because it constantly changes. Right. Hello, friend. Let me kill you. And your friends too. <laughs> Freaking fading souls. Those enemies are kind of pointless to fight. Should probably ignore them. From this point onward. I have so many freaking burps and a lot of other crap happening while I'm trying to do the commentary, which is failing. Quite spectacularly. Also, well, that was a fail in half. Right. So, uh, how many souls do I have right now? Like, how many do I need? I guess I'll go and level up. And that is also a point where I will end of this episode. So the next episode we're going to uh, continue with this entire shithole. And then maybe get my uh, my Zweihand there. Or my first Ultra Great Sword, let's say it like that. Speaking of which, let me go and do... Uh, let me go and give Greyrat the bone. <laughs> oh my! Hello. Heaven, she was already dead. Do I have? I actually do. <laughs> I have two Estus increasing items. Maybe I should use them. There we go. Brip. That's gonna be it, people. Hope you enjoyed this episode of just said. I was playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon pages. And next episode, we're gonna go and deal with. Well, yeah, the rest of the Unit Settlement. Goodbye. Okay,